Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a really deep clean of the kitchen and I'm super excited. So if you're here for the kitchen cleaning and just decluttering and doing a really nice deep clean of your kitchen, give this a thumbs up and let's get into it. I could have sworn I've seen your face before So glad that you said hi Cause I was way too shy What would have happened if you just had passed me by the night we keep on drinking Now on to some dishes in the sink. I like to kind of hand wash my dishes before I put them into the dishwasher. I got some complaints because my dishwasher doesn't get like all like the lipstick stains. So it's like sanitary, but it's not technically clean. So I got some complaints <laughs> from a friend and I was like, well, it's sanitary. And she was like, no, it's not, it's not clean though. So I go ahead and give everything a good rinse before I put them in the dishwasher. And then I'm going to go on to the countertops. And I wanted to clean the countertops before I did the sink so that if I had any crumbs or anything, I could push them in there and then have a completely clean sink in the aftermath. So this wasn't something I had planned on doing, but it was something I have been needing to do in a really long time. Obviously, I am wiping down the countertops, and then I'm going to go ahead and just de deep clean this coffee maker. So I have the DeLonghi Dynamica coffee cleaner, and it makes espresso, etc. Grinds its own beans, and it had gotten a little bit neglected. So I'm taking that bottom tray out. I'm rinsing off any stray coffee grounds, and then I am going to deep clean that tray that is stained with coffee. And so what I'm doing with that is I'm taking a little bit of baking soda. And you guys, if you have coffee stains, tea stains on any of your coffee mugs or anything, this works wonders, as you will see in just a second. I was tempted to put it in the dishwasher because it is dishwasher safe but it wouldn't have gotten that stain out that I wanted. And the before and after is crazy. It went from brown to white. I couldn't get in all the crevices, but at least it's clean. I got a good scrub and I'm okay with a little bit of a staining in the corners. You don't get to see it anyway. There's a warm and welcome 
So in the comments, I would love it if you guys put down below how often you clean your coffee maker and what kind of coffee maker do you have? Do you have a Keurig? Do you have like a drip coffee that you use like a filter on? I would love to know your machine and how often you clean it and give this a thumbs up if this inspired you to clean your coffee maker. Here I'm just restocking my black tea that I have every single morning. I had a little bit left in that bag and wanted to just refill it to the most that I could and then I'll move on into putting all the appliances back on the counter. When I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on then We'd do anything for what we started But this time we could break There's nothing better than a clean sink and to top it off if you see there was a little bit stuck in that garbage disposal so I just go under the sink and grab one of my garbage cleaners like garbage disposal cleaners and pop that on in there and run that. So I have been waiting to show you guys this. I kept forgetting to do this in a video, but I do this about a couple of times a week, but I just take a little bit of my stainless steel cleaner and wipe down my fridge, and then I'm going to deep clean. I have been waiting to clean this for you guys. I keep seeing it, and I wanted to clean it so bad, but I said, no, I gotta wait to show them. The, I don't know, the drink station? I don't know what you call that, but it was so crusty with like, hard water stains, it was disgusting, and it was driving me insane. So I remembered to clean it for you guys. I just take a little bit of the Branch Basic Spray and a washcloth, and I just get all that gunk right on off. Told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I ain't a person who understands. Now we're just going to take my Dyson V15 with the soft roller brush. I love this thing because the light shows you everything that you miss. So I don't miss anything anymore and it also is kind of like a duster for the floor It makes sure that nothing gets missed and I absolutely love it Wait a second cuz they're playing the best I'll be there if you reach out to me
And of course, after vacuuming, you have to do a steam mop. I love a steam mop because it disinfects the floor and it cleans it all in the same step without any nasty chemicals. I do have a puppy, her name is Alice. Uh, I mean, I guess she's not a puppy anymore, but she's my dog, and I do not like to have chemicals on the floor for her paws. She has a lot of allergies, she has a lot of skin issues, so if I can make that any better for her, I will. So to disinfect and clean the floor, I love a good steam mop. I would like to add some essential oils, but again, that's not healthy for dogs, so I just go ahead and use the water. Be moving on solo. Wait a second, cause they're playing. I'll be there if you reach out to me And of course, when the kitchen is closing, aka all clean, you have to light a candle. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! So